So why would you wait until other buyers are interested before you want to make an offer? Okay, so probably one of the most frustrating things us as an agent hears a buyer say is, can you call me if there's somebody else interested? That is so frustrating as a seller, and I'll tell you why. Now, I get it. One of the things that you're trying to do as a buyer is buy the property at the best possible price. You know, you're trying to make sure you get it for the best possible value. And usually you say this for one or two reasons. And that's either to stall a little bit so you've got time to see what else is on the market, or possibly you're interested in the property and you're hoping that by stalling the process, you can lengthen that time frame. You might be in a better place to negotiate with the vendor. So we get it. And I'm sure that fundamentally there's some psychological uh, correlation here between us as humans only liking things or wanting to buy things that other people want. But let me ask you this question. When do you think the best time to negotiate with a seller is? When you're the only buyer interested or when there are multiple parties interested? Well, I reckon the answer is pretty simple and I know you know it. And that is that the best time to negotiate with a vendor is when there's nobody else interested. Because once there are multiple parties, obviously the competition can sometimes drive the property even beyond where the initial price was set. But more to the point, the owner is now in a position where they've got a backup plan. You know, they're not just reliant on you. And you know one of the worst things? Now, of course, as your agent, we're going to call you and we're going to let you know no, listen, there are other parties interested. But when we do so, we normally get one or two reactions. The first is either panic. You know, panic because you are genuinely interested in the property and now you're in that bit of a rush position where you know other people are interested. You've probably forced yourself into a bit of a corner where you may be having to offer above and beyond where you might have liked to have started at and you're worried that you're gonna miss out on the property. So you put yourself in a more stressed position to buy the home. The second reaction we get is disbelief because let's face it, there's always gonna be that little bit of judgment or that little bit of uncertainty, can you trust what the agent's saying? Because every agent says there are other buyers interested. Yeah, we, we get it. Now, the majority of the time, most agents are there to help you and they are telling you the truth. And we're in a hot market still at the moment, even though it's starting to come off the boil a bit. So you're now caught in a position where you're wondering whether to believe the agent or not. And that makes for an awkward transaction. And chances are you end up missing the property because the agent was telling you the truth and now you're disappointed again. So we get it. You're a buyer. Your number one goal is to try and negotiate the best value price you can on the home. But to do that, one of the biggest things you have going for you, if you're the only buyer, is to act when you don't have competition. Let's face it, if you're at an auction, you don't want multiple bidders, you wanna be one of the only ones. In a private sale negotiation, the same thing applies. So when you talk to the agent, rather than saying, hey, can you call me when someone else is interested, maybe say, hey, are there other parties interested? If not, let's start negotiating now.